supposed to be a big sound effect. Anyway, hey, what's up, guys? This is uh, Jason with Sound Design Studios. Uh, coming back with you with another tutorial on the Behringer Wing console. Um, like I always like to tell people, oh, before we get started, you already know what I'm going to ask down below hit that subscribe button so i can make sure you guys stay with us and we stay with you guys as we upload new videos and all that kind of stuff let me kind of turn down the speaker a little bit uh, uh, so we can make sure we stay in touch with you as we go forth with everything um and again uh for you guys that don't know anything about sound design studio uh, we are a full-fledged production company. We provide sound, audio, video, um, lighting, backline for tours, uh, quinceañeras, bar mitzvahs, whatever you have. Uh, we do it all over the U.S. So, but enough about that. I know if you clicked on this link, you're ready to jump into the video. So... What I like to do with the videos that I do, I'm going to show you from my point of view how I get to stuff. Like I said, uh, in the comments below, if, if I'm doing it wrong, just let me know if it's a better way to do it. Um, this is a fairly new console to to us and also to, you know, everybody in the U.S. since it just came out last week or the week before. Um, but this particular video, we're going to be showing you how to change a mono channel into uh, a stereo channel, but using um, the deal is with this console, when you switch it into a stereo channel, it, it tries to use uh, channels that side by side with each other. So, of course, like one and two and five and six, seven and eight so on and so on of course um so i'm going to show you how to um choose your own channel so if you want it uh, let's let's say you're using your s16s or whatever um you can choose channel three and channel 24. you can put those two channels together and make a stereo uh, channel on a particular fader. So uh, let's go ahead and get off into it. Uh, let's start it up. So let's switch over to the other view. So from here, let's actually go to a channel that's mono. All right, so with seven, let's go off into the routing which your routing button is right here. What you want to do is go off into your user signal deal. And you can use, I mean, choose whichever two, um, uh, whichever one of uh, these channels is, is I'll, I don't know if you can see it on the screen if it's close enough or not, but it says user one, user two, user three, user four. So, choose you know let's say three well what we want to do is we want to make that um uh, stereo because what we're going to do is we're going to say hey uh, user channel number three is going to be a particular channel user channel number four is going to be that other particular channel so what we do now right now is mono let's switch it to stereo so as you can see, it made three and four stereo. All right. So right now, it has three left and right. Uh, so what we do, click on source. And this is where we choose what channel we want it to be. So let's say we want that to be channel... Um, Let's say three. 
since that's what we said a minute ago, and we want that to be the left side. All right. And we say done. Let's click on four. Let's click source. And we want channel 26 to be that right side. Now what we do is we click 26, click right, and say done. All right. So now user uh, three is channel channel three and user 24 i mean user four is channel 26 so let's just switch this channel three to something else so it so it doesn't seem confusing so we know that we actually made it something else so let's make that 16. so now three is sourcing from 16. and now the user four is sourcing from 26. All right, and like I said, we did make that stereo on the user. All right, so let's come out of that. And as of right now, um, and I normally, the way I've been getting it, getting to it is go right here below where it says home and right above gate, clicking on that and where it shows you where it's sourcing from. Right now it's sourcing from USB 8. We well let's go to another one. So let's choose channel nineteen. We want nineteen to do it. So channel nineteen. This is nineteen right now. Uh and right now it's not sourcing from anything. So we click here, then we go over here to source group. And we click source group. We we don't want the local inputs. If we want to choose a local, we'll click on local and choose whatever local channel we wanted it to be. But we're not choosing a local channel. So R, if we were choosing from uh, one of the S16s or anything that's connected to the digital snake, um, it would be, of course, whatever AES you're using, so it would be A, B, C, but we're using the uh, the user, which is right there. Um, so with that being said, that's, that was three and four that we used, correct? So now since we click on that, Nav's made, um, you guys can't see it on the screen, but it's made my channel 19 stereo. And you can see it right here. Um, it's made two dots, which means it's stereo now. All right, so now we say done. Okay, and so at that point, when we go back home, those two channels will be sourcing from channel 16 and 26. So that's how that's how you um, you um, link two different channels um, from you know, uh, that's not side by side um, instead of, you know, having to go with one and two or three and four or whatever. So that's how you use your your user function on that end. So uh, hopefully that video could help somebody. And if it's another way, guys, please leave it in a comment and I'll update my video. Like I said, this is a fairly new console, so, you know, and I could be doing something wrong also. So if if I am, please let me know and and uh, and inform me. Um, but that's how uh, I've been doing it. But uh, thank you guys from watching for watching. 
And again, this has been Jason with Sound Design Studio. And please come back. But before you leave, if you didn't, hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. If you didn't, hit the subscribe button. All right, see you guys later.